Hi, I'm Paula Shugard, president of the Miss Universe organization, and I'm here with Telemundo.com to answer some of your questions about the Miss Universe pageant. So let's get started. We did have one crown for a long time, but actually that I think was the third or fourth one in our 50 year history. Uh, the reason the crown changed, um, I'll never forget Brooke Lee telling me, uh, and a lot of the formers telling me how much they really disliked the old rhinestone crown that was just huge, and they all called it the chandelier. And it was impossible, and it was rhinestone, and it just, uh, um, I think it may have served its purpose when it was, I believe that was first created in the 70s, late 60s or 70s. Um, but it was, uh, it's um, not something that was as, as elegant. There were not real jewels. Um, so for our 50th anniversary, Mickey Moto started to develop a crown. Uh, and they had that ready by our 51st year. It took a little while. Um, and the Mickey Moto crown, uh, I got a lot of flack for that. A lot of people didn't like it. Um, and I would agree the USA and U Teen USA crowns are perfect. But for the, the first one, that was the Miss Universe. And it's very front heavy. It's, it's almost like a um, peacock in the front. And that was very difficult to keep on. Um, and the biggest thing, it's, it's $250,000 crown, so we weren't able to take it out as much as we would like. And it's very, very delicate, so we were also finding ourselves in a position of having to repair it quite a bit. Um, so, uh, and those are all the honest stories for anybody that asks me about the crown, because I'm asked all the time. Uh, and when we went to Vietnam, it was a very, very important time for the people of Vietnam to have, uh, to have uh, the Miss USA have all the contestants. It was the biggest event they've ever hosted, but it was very, very important for them. Uh, they have a, uh, um, they've started a very big um, jewelry industry there that's very new, and they, but jewels and gems are something that are very important to, to Vietnam. They have a, quite a bit of them, and so it was very, very important for them to design a crown uh, uh, to give to the new Miss Universe. It was the Vietnamese people are very, very giving. Uh, we used the Mickey Moto crown that year as well, but we had both because it was something that, that meant so much for the Vietnamese people. It had the lotus flowers in it, and it was all stuff that was always very evocative of Vietnam. And uh, um, so we were at the end of, we had, uh, um, now at the end of our 10 years with Mickey Moto, and wanted to be able to have the crown worn uh, at more events, worn in for parade, uh, and NBC had launched their um, green initiative and Diamond Nexus uh, is the best of both worlds. We have beautiful gems that are eco-friendly and they were able to design a crown and that's why we took it out to the public last year and said okay you vote you tell us what you want and we really wanted to, the only thing we wanted to make sure is that there were ruby uh, ruby in there to uh, always be aware of the HIV AIDS cause that's so important and for, so everywhere she she travels she take that crown. And uh, Stephanie has worn that crown more in the last year than I think um, our Miss Universes in the last 10 years were able to wear the Mickey Moto crown because we didn't have to have three armed guards everywhere <laughs> she went. And don't miss the Miss Universe pageant. Monday, August 23rd, live around the world and right here on Telemundo.